Hi, teacher. Good evening. Oh, I'm sorry. You couldn't hear me. I'm sorry. Hey, good evening. How are you doing today? All good? Fine, teacher. It's nice because uh, now it's raining and the weather is cold. Oh, yeah. Um, well, it's still hot. It's still hot in here. But yeah. yeah, it's still hot. But it's definitely, it's yes. definitely, uh, you know, not, not as yesterday. Yesterday was pretty, pretty hot. Oh, so, yes. And yesterday uh, it was a uh, work long day, uh, long day for me. Uh, I finished to work at 10 p.m. You finished working at 10 p.m. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Hold on. Um, let me send a message to everybody else. So what else do you do? Okay, teacher. So, so what else What else did you do yesterday? So tell me about your day yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I uh, done a, 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 a big data about the customer and the and the about the amount to remain. The, the what, I'm sorry? Amount to remain in the customer. Okay. Uh, I, I doing a big data about my my boss. Oh, okay. All right, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm sending a message to everybody else, right? Uh, cause uh, guys, cause um, people are kind of late today. Hello, Elena. Nice to see you. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How? Good evening. How was uh? Did you did you check did you check the links that I sent you? I can hear you very well. Um, Gloria, can you hear me well? Yes, teacher. Okay, I yeah, I can, I, can, I can barely hear you, Elena. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, um, so, casi no, no, no te escucho, te dejo muy bien lejos. Um, so, uh, what about you, Foster? How was your day? But yes, but yes, we can hear you, we can hear you. Uh, so, what about you, Foster? Uh, a little, uh, have a little cold right now. Oh yeah, yeah. You have a, you have a cold, man. Thank you for joining from your cell phone, man. All right, guys. Let me yeah. finish some of this. So tell me, tell me about your day, Lena. How was? So what do you do on the, um? What do you do today? Um, actually, today was the first day uh, of um, a bastante uh, a girl who. It's gonna help me in the furlough for a few years. Working. Uh, so today, uh, I'm to sorry. Today was your first day doing what? I'm sorry. Today was uh, the first day. Mm -hmm. of a girl mm -hmm. that uh -huh. she uh, that she's gonna help me in the regulatory affairs department. Oh, so okay. I I um I, I teach uh, a few things to her. Okay. All right. I was a nice. All right. And I say thank you. Uh, great. All right. That's good. That's good. Okay. All right. Let's see who else we got here. Um. So Foster, how long have you been sick? Uh, since yesterday. You were sick since yesterday. Yes. But, but is is it like something? Are you okay? Is it is it like? Uh, is it is it not coronavirus? No, no. Okay. No. All right. You're it's okay. Good. It's um. It's a regular. It's, uh, yeah, a regular cold with a little flu and nothing else. But okay. All right, man. I'm glad that you're fine. Okay, you. guys. So let's 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 get started. I'm just gonna. Um, I'm, I'm making, um, a, a broadcast, uh, right now, so we can, so we can get started. All right. Hold on. If you receive them, if you receive a message just right now, guys, okay. Um, disregard it because this is sent to everybody. Okay. 
What is a broadcast? What is a broadcast? A mm -hmm. broadcast is something that you send to a lot of recipients um, at the same time. Say, for example, that you want to, to send an email to a whole group of people, right? You have to broadcast mm -hmm. the message to everybody. Also, like when you watch TV, when you watch TV, the the TV station is broadcasting to everybody. Mm, so they're broadcasting their, their program, right? Thank you. Okay. Um, so right now the message that you got, this is a message. This is one message that everybody received, not only, not only you. All right, Oscar has a automated message <coughs> response system. All right, guys, so we're going to continue where we left off yesterday. All right, so let's pull up the website, guys. All right, so we're, we're almost done with this. Uh, so we left off pre advanced. Okay, guys, did we? Yeah, we already started this, okay? All right, so we were seeing we were seeing relative clauses as nouns and relative clauses as objects, okay? We're gonna touch on relative clauses as objects today, okay? All right, guys, so what do you remember? What do you remember about relative clauses? So what can you tell, what is a clause, for example? Mm -hmm. That's a word. Oh my God, everybody's responding, huh? Hello, Ronnie, welcome. Uh, Francisco, welcome, welcome back. All right, nice to see you guys. All right, so what is a clause, guys? All right, Gloria, let's see, Gloria. What, what, do, you, what, what do you understand by a clause? Uh, I understand uh, a relative clause uh, is the sentences uh, okay. that... Uh, <laughs> that joins the subject and the verb. Okay. Uh, okay, a clause, right? A clause would be, if you take a look at the definition of a clause, guys, okay? Uh, it's basically any any sentence that contains um, a subject, a subject and a verb, right? And then we use, um, and then we use certain words to join them together, right? Beautiful job, guys. Beautiful, beautiful job. Okay, so yesterday, guys, we were practicing um, relative clauses as subjects. Why are they called? Um, why, why are they? Are they? Um, why do they become subjects, guys? Okay, what? It, according to the presentation that you see here. Okay, so why are they called subjects? Subjects. Mm -hmm. So what? So who can tell me? All right, let's see, Gloria. No, 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 let's not go with Gloria today. All right, so uh, Ronnie. Okay, sir. So, uh, so in this case, what what is the subject? Hey, hi, uh -huh. Yeah, I can hear you. No. Nope. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes. Uh huh. Oh, oh, Ronnie has uh, internet issues. Okay, so uh, it's okay. Your 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 connection is unstable unstable right now. Uh, so let's go with Francisco. Okay, so Francisco. Sorry, teacher, my, my internet connection uh, is very unstable. <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's okay, right? Oh, can you repeat the question, please? Yeah. So. So what is what is the subject? Okay, what is the subject on um, on the on the on the relative clause that we got? It. What is the subject in this sense? According uh, to this, the clause, the subject mm -hmm. uh, in the first uh, in the first one is one thing. Okay, all right, it's one thing. Okay, it is one thing. Okay, and what is the mm -hmm. relative clause here? I really miss. I really miss, right? And what do we use to join them together? We use the verb to be. Is we use the verb to be. Now, if this if this was not a noun, okay, my mom's cooking, okay, which is actually the object of the sentence, because remember, the object of the sentence is 
what we are talking about. What is it? What is, what is the object of the sentence, guys? Uh huh. It is what we are talking about. It is what we are talking about. What we're talking about. Okay, so that is the object of the sentence. Okay. All right, beautiful. So remember, guys, the only thing that I wish you practice more every time that you use this, guys, okay, after. You have the verb to be here. What if you want to make this a verb, guys? Okay. Uh, what what happens to the verb? What type of verb form do you use? Ing. Okay, use the ing form. Okay. So instead of saying my mom's cooking, what other thing could be uh, could be the object of the sentence? Uh huh. What do you think? Cooking the bird. All right, so let's see, guys, real quick. Okay, quick QA. We, we, Elena. We talk, we talk about cooking. All right, no, I, I know we're talking about cooking. So let's let's use a uh, let's use a verb in ing. Okay, so so let's uh, give me give me one example. I'm gonna move my fan over here a little bit. Hold on. So who can give me one example, guys? It could be my dogs playing. Okay, um, my dog's playing. Okay, but what would be incorrect if I say my dog's playing? What, what would be incorrect here, guys? My dog's playing. So what is my dog's playing? What, what are you trying to say? Uh, just completing the... The, the sentence that says, I really miss my dog's playing. Okay, all right, all right. But you gotta make sure that it makes sense, okay? okay. Uh, my dog's playing, that doesn't make sense, okay? Because uh, playing is not, playing is not actually a possessive, possessive of a dog. So you have to say something else, okay? So here guys, yesterday we saw this, okay? So one thing I really miss is, Elena, so give me uh, one example from the one, one example from the ones that we saw yesterday. Uh, one thing I really miss is um, playing with my children. Okay, playing, very good, playing with my children, okay. All right, Brenda, okay, Brenda, give me another one. One thing that I really miss is Going to the cinema with my sister. Going to the cinema. Repeat that. Cinema. Cinema. Okay. Cinema. cinema. All right. Or you can call it movies or movie theater. Right. Good job, guys. Okay. So now, the um, the relative clause that we got here, I really miss, guys. That acts as a subject, right? In this case, guys, it's like this whole thing is the subject. Okay. So now, anything, guys, anything that is the relative clause, pretty much, guys, tells us that anything that is before the verb is becomes that relative clause, okay? Which is this thing right here, the whole thing is a subject, okay? All right? Yeah. Beautiful. Now, guys, let's talk about, let's talk about uh, relative clauses as objects, okay? All right, we're gonna continue. We're gonna do the, um, the small knowledge check after this, okay? But let's go ahead and bring up the following the following exercise, hold on. All right, so help me read. Um, let's see the first example that we got on the screen, Francisco Ventura. All right, Frank, uh, help me read the first example that we have on relative clauses as objects. Okay, my mom's cooking is one thing that I really miss. Okay, very good. Now, I want you to check, to check something out, guys. Take a look at the comparison between relative clauses as subjects and, and as nouns, okay? So what do you think is different or similar? Are, you, are they talking about the same thing? Yeah. Yes, they're talking about, uh, hold on. Okay, guys. All right, so, so 
it is the same thing, guys. Okay, they're talking about the same thing. But what happens? What What do you see that happens to the structure? Let's see, Allison. What What can you say? What can you uh, tell about the structure that we got here? Uh huh. Allison? All right, no Allison there. All right. Oh, there you go, Allison. Uh huh. I'm driving right now, so I just listening to the class. All right. It's okay. It's okay, then. It's okay. Okay. So, all right, guys. So, who can tell me the difference, guys? Teacher, me. All right. Uh, let's go, Gloria. The sentence uh, start with the uh, object. With the object. Very good job. So, what was the object before has become the subject, okay? That's, that's the reason, guys why it is this is at the beginning of the sentence right very good job and what is the subject now what is what is the subject now guys so who can tell me what is the subject of the sentence now is my mom's cooking okay my mom's cooking very good job because you're talking about okay so remember a subject guys right it would be one of the, um, I mean, it's an, it could be a name, but we're, we're talking about pronouns, right? The personal pronouns. In this case, guys, my mom's cooking, what is it? What, what personal pronoun would you, would you um, translate it? I mean, would you, would you trade it with? The third person. Third person, what type of third person, guys? Is it she, he, or it? Is she? Are you sure? All right, Elena, what do you think, Elena? My mom's cooking. Um, I think it's she because it's, uh, you're talking about your mom now. Okay, all right. Well, what, who has I a different? Who has I don't a different? Know. You confused me. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. But but if I tell you, if I tell you this, guys, okay. I, I um, think is it teacher because it's the action who we talking. Very good job, guys. Okay, don't get too okay. right. So it's it's kind of confusing, guys. Okay, but think about this. Okay, if I say my mom's cooking, am I talking about my mom or my or the cooking of my mom? Cooking. I'm talking about the cooking, about the cooking, cooking right? The cooking. Now, is the cooking she or he? Is the cookie a person? No. No, no right? It's an action. So, okay, very good. It's a, it. It's a thing, right? It doesn't have, it doesn't have a, a gender. So it would be it. Okay? So this, guys, is the same as saying it is one thing, all right, that I'd really miss. Okay? Got it, guys? So now the relative clause right here is this, guys. Okay? I'd really miss. Okay? So that phrase right right there, guys, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, guys, not, not that. Okay, forget that, forget that, okay? Uh, let's scratch this up here. Actually, this would be a good example. Now, this phrase right here, guys, that is the relative clause. So now, instead of being at the beginning, right, I really miss my mom's cooking, right? Now it, it went to the uh, to the end of the sentence, right? So that, that is the difference, guys, okay? So now, let's take a look at the second example. Who wants to help me read the second example that we got here? What about, what about this? Uh -huh. Me, Francisco. Mm -hmm. Frank, okay, let's go. Okay. Making new friends is something I've been nervous about. Okay, making new friends is something that I've been nervous about. Okay, beautiful. So now, uh, wh where do you see where do you see the subject there? What do you think the subject is um, on that um, in that sentence? Making new friends. Making new friends. Very good, right? It comes right before the verb to be okay all right making new friends okay and what is the relative clause that you see there 
I'd be nervous about. I'd be nervous about. Very good job. Okay, it's something that, all right, something that I'd be nervous about. Okay, so, all right, very good. All right, let's take a look at the third example and then we get to practice. Okay, all right. So what about the third one? All right, let's see. Allison, help me read the third one. All right. Allison. All right, okay, there we go. Oh, hello. Uh, my parents are two people that I email every day. Okay, all right, my parents, my parents are two people who I email every day, okay? So in this case, all right, what would be the subject of the sentence? Uh -huh. My parents are. My parents, okay, my parents. Okay, my parents, guys, not my parents are, right? Are, okay, is the verb to be here, okay? Now, where do you see the relative clause? I email every day. Okay, all right, very good, okay? So, I email every day, all right? Okay, guys, all right. So, um Two Tell people me. is the object. I'm sorry, what? Uh, about the, the two people. What about that? Is the object of the sentence? No. So remember, guys, hold on. Now I'll explain. One of you is going to explain this to you, okay? What happens after we have the verb, be, the verb to be here, guys? What do you see here? Let's take a look at this example. What comes after that? Um, the noun. No. Okay, all right. It comes the object of the sentence, right? So two people oh. who that who died really miss every day. Now, um, that would be now the, the subject of the sentence, right? I mean, the whole thing now, all right, those, if you're talking about those two people, that is the, sub, the, the object of the sentence, okay? Yeah. All right. So now, beautiful. Okay, so we got another example here, right? Um, so in this example, in the third example, okay, we got, you got your noun, and then you got the relative clause, okay? So what is the noun in this sentence, guys? Mm. All right, the noun of this sentence is two people, okay? All right, and then the relative clause, I email every day. All right, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, let's get some examples, and then we're gonna practice, okay? All right, so. Let's see, uh, let's start from top to bottom. All right, so Alison, Alison, give me one example, Alison. You got five seconds. Five, four, three, two. Alison. <laughs> uh, Alison is not ready. Think about an example, Alison. Gloria, give me one example. Gloria? All right, uh, Hello. Okay, Hello, all right, Gloria, Gloria, right. Can let's you go, hear me? Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, taking a lunch, a lunch with my coworker is one thing that uh, I I really miss. Very good job, taking taking lunch, okay, taking lunch, lunch or having lunch, my... right? Okay. Having lunch with my coworker, okay? Now, guys, what is this? Having lunch with my coworker. What, what is this in grammar? What is it? Okay. Okay, the subject. Good job. Okay, so having having lunch with my coworker. All right, what? It's something, okay. Okay, so is, okay. Very good. So we have we have is okay. So is what is is in grammar? It's there to be. Okay, all right. Is right. I'm gonna highlight it here. Okay, we got the verb. Okay, we're gonna put it like this here. Okay, the verb be. Okay, beautiful. So having lunch with my coworker is, and what comes after this? One thing I really miss. <laughs> okay. One thing I really miss, okay? All right, so now, this I really miss, guys. Okay, one thing I really miss. Uh, what, what is that? How do you call that? This well, part okay. here. I really, really miss. Okay. All right, so we got, 
we got um, we got the noun. Okay. Noun. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got the noun again, and we got the Object. relative clause in this. Okay. Now I really miss. Okay. That would be the relative clause. Now, yes, Francisco, yeah. very good job. You are right. This whole thing, guys. Okay. This uh, one thing I really miss is the is the object of the sentence. Okay. So let me. Put it like this here. All right, hold on. Okay. Now that acts, this all acts, guys, as a as an object of the sentence because it's what we are referring to. Okay. So this would be the whole object of the sentence. Okay. All right. Or you can say yeah, a noun plus a relative clause. Right. I just want you guys, if you see, basically, guys, the number one tip that I can give you, if you see the first clause, guys. As a subject, then it, it means that the relative clause will become the subject, I mean, the object of the sentence, right? So let's take a look at a second example, okay? So who wants to give me another example? Hey, teacher. Let's go, Ronnie. Oh, yeah, Ronnie, let's go. Okay. Going to the gym is one of thing I will miss. Very good, okay. Going to the gym is one thing that, or you can say I'd, right? Instead, that I'd really miss okay good job all right let's use another example let's let's use another relative clause okay instead of saying i'd really miss think about another example right uh ronnie pick really, someone can, can i say i really knew you uh-huh i really um, need okay let me see I really need it's perfect yes okay. yeah you can you could say that you say george well, i'm sorry what Thank George you, Ronnie. Mendoza. <laughs> Rosa. George Mendoza. George, oh, George Mendoza. Mendoza. You're picking. You're picking someone. Okay. All right, George. All right, George. Now, give me another example, but not using I really means. Okay. Use um, use uh, use one of the other the other examples above. Uh, I really need, for example. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, drinking coffee with my friends is one thing that I really miss. I really okay. need. Okay, all right, drinking. All right, now, I don't want you to use I really miss, guys, okay? Stop using this. Okay, okay. Use, use, uh, use another relative clause from here, okay? You can use, okay, hold on. Oh, shit. This, this thing's stopped working. Okay, hold on. All right, so let's use, let's use, you can use uh, one thing that I really miss, okay? Uh, or you can use, I want you to use, for example, Something that I'd be nervous about. Okay, so let's use let's use the other examples, guys. Okay, so drinking coffee. Okay, drinking coffee. Mm -hmm. Huh? With my boss. With my boss. Mm -hmm. It's something that I'd be nervous about. It's, it's, it's something I'd be nervous about. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job, good job, good job, good job. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. Beautiful, beautiful job. Okay, guys. So now, guys, time. Uh, do you have a question, guys? Any question? Any question, 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 question? All right. So I got something special for you today, guys, um, before we finish the class. So if you have a question, please let me know because I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of going to quiz you today. So. I am going to quiz you. All right, Victor, welcome. All right, guys. So if that's the case, guys, I'm going to get you. I'm going to send you a question right now, guys. And you have to talk. And I want to hear at least one relative clause, okay? So I want you to talk about this. Okay, about the COVID. All right, so you can see the question in the chat, guys. Okay, so what do you think about the COVID situation, right? So now, uh, that's a question, guys. That's a question that uh, that where you can where you can get a lot of expressions when you're talking. Okay, so for example, you can say, um, my take on the coronavirus situation is that it's been something. It's been something that. Well, it's, it's something that I don't think that 
uh, I don't think it will go away so soon. I think that we're gonna have we're gonna have to uh, get by, you know, with coronavirus coronavirus in in our lives. Um, so making friends online is something that I do every day, okay? Or, or it's something that I do, right? Um, having, okay, having, uh, not, not being able to see my friends is something that I really miss um, because we are, you know, we're, we're, we're in this close space, right? Or you can say um, meeting new people online would be something, uh, is something that I'd be nervous about, okay? All right, think about other examples, guys, okay? All right, let's use those phrases and think about your own examples, right? So far, so good? Questions? Questions, questions, questions? All right. Now, guys, uh, before we start, guys, uh, let me just, let me, let me give you a heads up, guys. I want you to be practicing for real. And what I mean is this, guys. In real life, guys, you're not going to do sentences, right? You're not going to be like, my name is David. How are you? All right, you don't talk like that in real life, okay? All right, so what I want you to say is that give your opinion, right? Give your real opinion about this, okay? I, I do want you to, to see how fluent you are. I want you to see if, you have, if you're able to, to, get, uh, to have critical thinking, okay? So come up with your own ideas and just share them, okay? And, 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 and ask, okay? For example, if I tell you, hey, I think coronavirus is good for society. Ask me, why do I think so? Okay? Got it? All right. Let's go, guys. Right, I don't think so, guys. I don't think that. Okay, so uh, it was just an example. <laughs> it's good for the environment, though. It was good for the environment. Okay. All right. Let's go. Oh, where is your partner? You're supposed to be with Brenda. Okay, Brenda's here. There you go, Brenda. Hi. All right, let me hear you guys. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Brenda, you you might you might want to get closer to your microphone to your microphone because for some reason, um, you sound like your 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 mic is very low. I can hear you well. Can you repeat me, please? Yeah, uh, you might want to get closer to your microphone because it's hard to, for us to hear you. Ah, okay. It's because I, I'm in a very computer. Oh, you're using a different you computer. Hear well? No, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I can understand. I can understand, right? If Brenda can understand, that's My good. My computer was broken. Oh, it broke. It's okay. Broke. Okay, broke. Okay. All Hi, right. Brenda. Good. Hey, Elena. Well, uh, talking about the coronavirus is hard, and I have uh, read, read, read about uh, the coronavirus a lot in these few months. It's because of my job, I think. I don't know, I don't know but um, I would be curious about the coronavirus um, born <laughs> because it's a totally different virus in the world. Totally, it, totally, totally different. Is it okay, uh, Elena? Um, I, and this this goes for both of you, actually, girls. Is it okay if I interrupt you whenever you make a mistake, so I can correct correct it and explain it to you? Yes. Or mm -hmm. would you? Yeah, please. All right, all right, all right. Continue then. Uh, so now there is there is one thing that you mentioned right now. The verb born. Okay, it's not it's not born. The verb is to be born. I don't know what what. What's uh huh? Okay, uh, to be born. The past of to be born. What do you think? To be born is actually the verb, okay? Because born, born itself is not a verb, okay? All right, to be born. So the past of to be born is was born. The past participle, been born, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so if you want to say that uh, someone, was, someone was born, you don't say somebody somebody born right that's that doesn't exist okay but i uh, continue continue 
Um, that's it. <laughs> 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 because the time is gonna it's gonna finish, so you can do it then. Okay. Uh -huh. With the teacher in the conversation is something that makes me nervous. <laughs> oh, why? Oh. <laughs> no, no, it's, yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, what I think about the coronavirus situation that uh, first of all, uh, is something bad for all human. Many deaths around the world. Um, but, and I think that the politicians, how, teacher, how do you say, se aprovecharon? Took advantage of? To get advantage. Took, took advantage of. I, I can say that. I'll, 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 I'm, I'm, I continue, continue. I'll give you, I'll give you the answer later. <laughs> okay. Um, not only in El Salvador, in many countries, I think, took advantage. Mm -hmm. Making, making different things, trying, trying to, to, to help people. Okay. And that's it. Okay. All right. All right. You, you have more ideas than that. Okay. Don't, don't make it so short. All right. But good job. Good job. All right. So uh, if you can see, if you can take a look at, if you can take a look at the conversation on the chat room, you're going to notice that I, I, um, I typed in some of the mistakes that you got here. The first one you said um, for all human. Now there is something guys that happens to Spanish speakers. I'm not quite sure why it happens to Spanish speakers, but it happens, okay? Final sounds, right? Uh, people usually, guys, when they say my name, they don't call me David. They say Davy, right? <laughs> oh, all right, or Davi, right? That that final sound is that, that, that right? So Davi? it's okay. I mean, like, I don't care. I don't care about that. But um, I'm, I'm just putting it as an example out there because... When you say for all, all, okay, all is a group of people, all right? So, are you going to say para todos los humanos? Is that how you say it in Spanish too? Fíjate que para todos los humanos. Mm. All right, my name is para todos los humanos. Maybe in Nicaragua. <laughs> so, it doesn't pronounce the S at the end of the word. Really? I, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. All right. Anyways. So in this, so what, what what would be the right way to say this instead, then, Brenda? What for do you people. think? No, no, uh, no, instead, no. Of, instead of for all human. It's not correct. Uh, okay, okay, hold on, but if you're asking me, that's there is something wrong, okay? Because you should see the mistake there. What is the mistake there? It's it's in the chat room. I you might not be looking at the chat room. Mm -hmm. I said that without S. Yes, you said Humans. it without the S. You said it all human. All right. But you see the mistake, right? That's that's the point. Okay, good job. Okay. Then you said I think. Is I that think. correct? I think. No, I think. Right. Exactly, exactly, right? So you know, all right, you know. Then you said, uh, well, vocabulary, right? Because you know how to say it took advantage of. And then you said things. Things, are you sure? Things. Thanks, right? Very good. Very good job, right? So that was it. All right, so uh, very good. Uh, it's just your final sounds. Practice those final sounds and you'll be good to go, okay? Now, uh, Elena, go ahead and practice with Brenda. Uh, continue practicing. But practice for real, okay? <laughs> Anything that you practice, guys, if you want to talk about something else, that's fine, as long as it is in English, and you give me one example with the relative clauses, okay? All right, very good. Thank you. See ya. Thank All right, you. hello, guys. I am so sorry to interrupt. Uh, I am checking everybody right now. I'm going to write down your feedback here so I can give it to you, okay? So whatever you're talking about, go ahead and just talk, okay? Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. We, we, we talk about the... Uh, homework. We were just talking about home office, uh, how, how the home office had the impact in our, our, our home. 
Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, I think um, there's no difference between work and, and home. Uh, I said uh, you can do, you can't not work and cooking at the same time or do laundry at the same time uh, you're working. So um, I don't know. It's a little bit difficult to to concentrate to the uh, duties at home and do uh, your job. Okay. All right. So it's it's difficult. It's difficult to concentrate. Okay. Yes, you, Beautiful. You have right. to pay, pay attention for the cell all the time. <laughs> for the what? For the cell. The, the sale. Okay. The, cell the, phone. The, oh, the cell, cell phone. phone. Okay, for for the yeah, cell phone, right? <laughs> yes. Don't don't say it for the cell cell phone, okay? Yeah. In English, you have to yeah. pronounce it all, right? Beautiful. Yeah. Cell, hey, cell is another word. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Cell cell is a different word. I thought that you were talking about sales, right? Which is yes. um, like selling a cell phone and, 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 and so. Um, very good, right? Foster, foster. That that was actually pretty good. Uh, pronunciation, actually pronunciation of vowels. We can still work on that, but. Uh, Grammatically speaking, you were good. Okay, uh, so let me hear you, Ronnie. Let's see what you got to say. So what do you think about all the coronavirus situation? Um, I think that coronavirus, I think that... All right, one more time, how, one more how, time. How, ask one more time. <laughs> and I want okay. you to say corona, repeat, coronavirus. Coronavirus. All right, because you, you said corona. All right, um, it's not coronavirus, coronavirus. Coronavirus. Coronavirus, okay, coronavirus, huh? I think that coronavirus has some positive things. For example, the environment is, is more clean, the beach, the animals are free. <laughs> and, okay. And, I, and uh, we, we um, I don't know how we say but I we, we see that I need a free to work to to play to talk with another people. Okay. To talk with another with, with another people. With, huh? with another. Okay. Okay. Um, Okay, that's all, all right. I think. Now, all right, good job, good job. Let me, all right, very good. Uh, let me just give you some advice. advice. Uh, you said coronavirus have some positive okay. things, okay? Now, coronavirus, what, what type of, um, what, what type of personal corona will you substitute it with? Coronavirus. I have, I have a question. I, I, have, I have a problem with, when I, because I I translate my thing but, but I can speak how do you how would I do to not translate do you play the guitar do you play any, any instruments no just drums <laughs> uh, you play the drums yes okay that's an instrument man all right all right are you good are you really good at playing drums I think yes. <laughs> I think so. Don't say I think yes. I, I, think, so. I think I think so. All right. Do you drive a car? Do you know how to drive a car? Yes, I drive. All right. Oh, so man. if you know how to drive a car, then that means that you can learn English. Okay. It's the same thing, man. You just have to practice. I don't think I don't think in Spanish anymore. It used to happen to me. I, I would I would think in Spanish as well to try to translate it. But then do it like if you drive, okay, it's like driving. When you, I don't know if you have a manual, a, a manual, um, manual gear, but basically, dude, like you do everything automatically, right? Yeah. Exactly. All right, you play the drums and you're not thinking about like, you're not thinking about that, right? So it is the same thing. The more you practice, the easier it, it'll become. You're, eventually, you're, you'll stop translating. Simple as that. Okay. All right. No problem. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, it's just practice. Okay. That's it. It's like everything else in life, man. Just practice. <laughs> All right. Uh, so before, before we, okay, before I forget, you, had, you said coronavirus have. Foster, what is, what is the mistake in this sense? Coronavirus have 
some positive thing. What's what's wrong there? Uh, I guess it, um, he it has it has to be uh, has instead of have. Exactly, it is third person, right? Right. And then you say to talk with another people. We do not say another when we're gonna use a plural, okay? With other people, other. all right? Because people, people, other. you should write it down, okay? People is plural, okay? okay? All right? In Spanish, okay, in Spanish, stop saying, no pienses que dice la gente, pero para, para, para mm -hmm. de pensar que dice la gente. La gente, nosotros, la gente es, nosotros decimos la gente es, all right? But it's, in English, that doesn't exist, all right? No existe okay. la gente, right? Es como si las personas son, people are. Got it? Oh, okay. It's implicit, implicit. Yeah, so don't translate, then you'll be fine, right? Okay. All right, beautiful, beautiful, right? So that was it, okay? Let's move on. I am working in uh, American Park. Oh, really? Yeah, Victor. How are you doing, guys? Hi, David, fine, thanks. All right, right. Hey, thank you for joining, guys. I don't know why, why everybody joined late today. What happened? I think... <laughs> We're just finishing the platform and everybody's like, did you finish the platform? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I, I miss it in the, the final exam. You're missing the final exam. Okay. Yes. All right. It's okay. As long as, long as you finish. Okay. And just uh, come early these last two days. Now, guys, I'm going to hear you right now. I'm, I'm listening to everybody right now. So I want you to give me your opinion on the coronavirus situation. I'm going to write down. I'm going to type in your mistake in the chat room. And then if you have, if you come across any, any questions, just let me know, right? Okay. All right, so let's go. So let me hear you, Victor. Okay. Uh, we were talking about uh, uh, the situation that, ha that will happen. And, and I think that the, the thing I will be nervous about is, is get, getting back to the work. <laughs> so, because I'm, I'm still working at home office. But I'll be nervous when I have to go to the to the job. Yeah. Okay. Again, uh, and we we're talking about uh, too that that the best part is being with the with our family and don't spend more time outside at uh, work and traffic and okay. and, and all of those things that that spend spend time with with family is the best the best thing that has happened in this situation. Okay. All right, so you wouldn't like um, having to go back to your to your job. Okay. No, <laughs> All right. Now I understand. You. I got you. Got you. Got you. All right. That's that's good, man. Okay. Now, um, let me give you some feedback. You said getting back to the work. Okay. Um. So, in this case, okay, the work is a translation. You're translating, right? In English, you said get, getting back to work. Okay, All right. back to work. You don't say to that. You don't add an article. Okay, remember, we use articles when it is accountable. Uh, I mean, when, it, when we're talking about something specific, okay, and it has to be, um, it has to be a noun, okay? All right. So, in this case, right, after, after, after um, work, in this case, wouldn't be something that, that uh, you will use an article with, okay? So getting back to work, not getting back to the work, okay? So from that, everything was good, man. All right. Uh, Jorge, Jorge Mendoza, okay, so let's see what you got. Okay, teacher. Uh, I talked to Victor Avalos about the coronavirus, and I'd say about her, about him, uh, in my case, the first one, I am spending time with my family. Okay. Uh, and I practice in different activities because uh, I don't have any time with my family. In this case, I had a lot of time. And I have I have something that I've been nervous about is back to my work because I working with a lot of people. <laughs> because you're working with a lot of people. Yeah, teacher. And, and my nervous is that 
I get or I get in the coronavirus because around uh, around June 20, I feel the symptoms uh, very similar to coronavirus, but I don't make it the test and only very similar and only uh, I feel the symptoms. Okay. All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right, good job. All right, applause for Jorge. Applause. Good job, man. Good job. All right, hey, um, guys. So uh, let me give you some feedback, Jorge. Um, even though you were good. Now, I, I sent you some feedback in the chat room, so if you want to go ahead and check it out. So you said, uh, you have, first off, you have a very strong R sound. Okay. Okay. All right, so uh, guys, what? Why, 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 what's your goal? Why, why do you want to learn English? To talk or just, uh, you just want to learn the grammar or what do you plan to do with your English? Or do you want to get a better job position? For my case, uh, I in practice. My case, in my, in my case. case. In my case, practice English. And but I'm why? Another language. And finally, I get a better job. Oh, you want to get a better job, okay? So, so I'm asking because in that case you want you have to focus on speaking, okay? What about you, Victor? Why do you want to improve your English? Well, in my case, is to 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 speak in uh, to speak, okay? Uh, I yes, for me it's easy to to read, but to speak and pronunciation uh, is the uh, are, are, are the things that are difficult uh -huh. for me. Uh, okay, all right, good job. So I'm gonna make a representation of uh, this is in pink for some reason. Let's do black, okay. So I'm gonna do a representation, guys, so of a mouth, okay. So this is the teeth, all right, and then we got this right here, and then you got your tongue, and then you got your teeth again here, your lip, and you got this here, okay. All right, so this is this is just a representation, guys. Okay, all right, if you want to add the nose here, okay. All right, beautiful. Okay, why am I doing it like this, guys? This is actually, guys, I didn't invent this. This is actually a way to represent that, okay. The teeth could have been a little bit different, though. But okay, so what I want you to say here, this is the way how to say R, okay. Uh, or now, this is this is okay. Uh, this is a voice. Um, a voice uh, consonant, okay? Now, if you see, guys, look at the tongue, okay? This is the tongue, okay? This right here, this is yeah. the tongue, okay? All right? So what you have to do is make the air flow from here, all right? So the air comes through here, and you don't touch anything here. So let it go through, man. Let it out. R. So you just do this. R. okay? So now... The only thing that you do, dude, okay, is that you roll, you roll your your tongue a little bit. All right, you uh, okay? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna represent it in another color here, with another color. Okay, so you kind of you kind of bend your tongue backwards like this, okay, just a little bit, but you do not, okay? You don't want to touch, okay? You don't want to touch. Uh, hold on. Yeah, let's do it like this, okay? You don't want to touch your teeth, or, 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 or you don't want to touch. Um, what can I, what can I call it? You don't want to touch the the palate or the reach over here, okay? This right here, you do not touch it. In Spanish, right? We talk, we we actually touch this, right? And then we we uh, we blow, um, and then you you blow air. So you, right, that's how you say. It. You kind of put it like this, right? This is your tongue, you put it like that, right? But in English, R, you just, right? right? You, you kind of bend your tongue backwards like this, but do not touch your palate or the ridge uh, behind your teeth, okay? So repeat, R. Uh, All right, Robert. Uh, repeat. Robert. Very good, very good. You got it, man. All right, v uh, Victor. Victor. Beautiful. You got it, man. You got it. Got it? All right. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> All right. Time. So uh, there are a lot of things that you can learn like that, guys. I'm gonna we're gonna go back now, but okay. uh, pr let's 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 improve those R sounds, Warrior. Okay. okay thank you. If guys, if you want extra, well, I'm I'm gonna tell you uh, with everybody else. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna say with everybody else around. Let's go. Hello, guys. Good job, guys. Uh, so great evaluation, guys. Okay. Thank you for participating. It was really good. Guys, if you want extra help, guys, if you if you have, I don't know, guys, you have a goal for learning English, do me a favor, guys, please let me know so I can send you exercises or whatever you need to do, okay? If you want to learn how to pronounce, guys, if you do want to speak English, all right, if you want to talk like me or, or an American, which you can learn how to talk like that, um, there are so, there are like really, really, really nice websites, uh, that you can that you can look at so you can learn how to pronounce the words correctly, right? Because it's not, all right, it's not the same. Like uh, Sofia Vergara is not the same as a native speaker, right? There is a reason why. Okay, so teacher, tell them. Do you know a good place or application where we are where we have the opportunity to learn more vocabulary or something like that? Well. This um this program, I mean this is a long program, so you're gonna get a lot of vocabulary here. But um there are there are websites that you can that you can um that you can get into if you wanna if you wanna practice more. Uh just send me a message, man, and I'll get you the material that, that you might need, okay? But okay, but you. I just I, rec I recommend it like if you want to improve grammars, you know, like this is a very, very good place for that, right? Maybe you, you might need, the thing is that you need to practice, okay? So whatever you do outside the class, okay, that'll help as well, okay? All right. Um, can I ask you something? Can I ask you something? Yes. <laughs> can I ask you something more? Yes. Um, did you suggest um, read books or watch movies or music? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure when I, when I learn English this way, um, but I I started learning English by myself when I was like four years old by playing video games. That was back in 1994. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never used audiobooks. I never used audiobooks. Audiobooks are good, um, but talking, it's just talking. I talk to a lot of like native speakers. I used to talk in English all the time. I went to the university and everything was in English. So it's just practice. Get get around people you can talk to and you'll be fine, okay? All right. All right, guys. So, uh, guys, do me a favor. Please um, ask homework, guys. Ask homework. Do the exercise 5.5, 5, all right? Or finish the whole platform if you want. But please connect these last two days and try to be early, right? Because it's important, mm -hmm. right? Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you, Bye, guys.